Hello, and welcome to this short demo of JSON in the Oracle database. Today, I will introduce you to the JSON Data Guide, our new tool for JSON schema discovery. I've created a table here called Demo Tab, which stores the data in a column called JSON Data. And to make sure that only valid JSON can be inserted, I added a check constraint. So this prevents any non-JSON data to be inserted. And the demo data we're using here are tweets from Twitter. So let's insert one of these JSON documents into the database. And if we introspect or if we take a look at this JSON, we see all the key value pairs. We see there's user fields, there is a text field, this is the tweet, and a bunch of other field language, which allow us to query the data. So if we know there is a certain field, we can use that to query it. So here we query demo table, the column, and then the language field, which we see here. And we expect the result to be ES, standing for Spanish, right? So if I change this field lang to timestamp MS, I would see that numeric timestamp value here. Obviously, reading through a JSON document to find all the key names that occur only works if you have one or a handful. So what happens if you, if you have uh, thousands or 10,000? So this is a, an insert from select from an external table, which inserts 50,000 tweets. And we can obviously select all these 50,000 tweets. Um, let's copy one and paste into a pretty printer. So those are pretty much all the fields we already saw in our first document that we inserted. There is some fields which we haven't seen. I, th I think we didn't see the geo field or, or entities field here. But looking at all these 50,000 instances is obviously impossible to find out all the occurring key names. So this is the motivation for the JSON data guide, which is an aggregate function which scans the entire JSON data and gives us a summary. Let's take a look at it copying it again, pasting it into the pretty printer. So this is what we call the JSON data guide. It is a summary of all the JSON instance documents that were scanned, in this case, all the 50,000 tweets. And, as, and it gives us a schema summary. It's a list of all the field names that were found together with the data type and some information about the length, about the values corresponding to this field. So the data guide itself here is rendered as a JSON array, and it contains uh, a list of these objects. And each object has a field O path, or O colon path, which gives us information about the path to the field name, or to the key, in this case, $ID is the path to the field name ID which is always of type number. So all the 50,000 documents we scanned had an ID as a number. And the O colon length gives us a length hint about the value. It's a power of two. And here the 32 indicates that every ID that was found was under or equal to 32 characters. So now here, the second field $.geo shows us as being null in some cases and also as being an object in some other cases. So we see that $.geo may have different types. So if it's null, the length is four. Well, null is four characters long. But if it's an object, the combined character length is 64. So it's rather a short object. And now we see that type follows geo. So type is a field under the geo object and it's a string with a maximum length of eight and there is a coordinates array under geo. So now we know that in some instances, there is a field $.geo.coordinates. So let's query this. So this is the query, select demo tab JSON data dot geo. Well, let's put a dot coordinates. And we also know that JSON data geo can be null. So we added this where clause here. So this gives us back the array that was mentioned in the JSON data guide. If I leave out the geo 
uh, coordinates, then I will just get the entire object, which has the type, which is point. Yeah, if we go back to the JSON data guide here, we can just scroll through and see that there are many, many different fields that we did not see in the sample document that we took a look at. So this function is a very easy way for you to scan all your JSON data to see if there are any fields that you're not aware of. And um, in the next demo, I will show how you make the JSON data guide part of the JSON search index and how you can use it to create views. Thank you for watching.